Hi everyone, it's Raja and Dot Mick, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo, Photo. Review. <laughs> This week we are going to be tooting and booting the looks from season 14 of So on the main stage the girls had to perform uh, a Moulin Rouge like extravaganza eleganza but on the runway the theme was Mira 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 If you heard that what would you think what would you do well, I would probably take it in the literal sense. I would probably find like mirror discs, mm. things that were very highly reflective, frame myself as I was in a mirror. I don't know. Uh -huh. Like, yeah, There's so know, many options. Right. What would you do? I don't know. I definitely would obviously go literal as well. Yeah. Two, I think it'd be fun to do some kind of like illusion mirror situation, like mm. Evie's finale kind of vibe, mm -hmm. but like maybe around your waist. Mirror very crazy ball, horse mirror. vibes. Yeah. yeah like, <laughs> Well, let's see what the girls have brought us this week. I expect <laughs> disco balls. I expect um, a lot of mylar. Mylar. <laughs> mylar, mylar's good. Mm. I mean, you know, I would even take it there and be like a tray, you oh. know, with a razor blade, like mirror, Honey, mirror. Come on. Yes, that's <laughs> so cute. Gosh, my angel, how many queens are left here today? I have no idea. <laughs> Everyone said my season was the longest, and I think. They might beat me. They might beat me here. Sure. So there's way more trans people and there's way more episodes. They're beating me in every aspect I could think of. <laughs> well, there's seven total altogether left. Let's boot them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's fucking boot them. Let's go. Let's boot them all. No, I'm kidding. Mira, Mira on the wall. Bring us the next doll. Category is mirror, mirror. First to the stage we bring the lady Camden. Cut, 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 Camden. Camden. Cut, 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 Camden. <laughs> My favorite thing about this entire thing is, first of all, there's a, a, a tremendous amount of mirrors, but also very well placed. But the thing is, I like the ombre on the legs. There's something very fawn-like, you know? Uh -huh. Like it kind of gives me that that vibe. Yeah. I'm really enjoying this. I yeah. like this. And I love how the pieces are cut. It's like sharp. It's giving like ice, like she said, Jack Frost. And I kind of see that, mm. which is fun because ice is mirror vibes, mm -hmm, which I mm -hmm. live for. And she really went off with the makeup. I don't know how she did that that fast with the time constraints, baby. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I'm, props to you, baby. She looks fantastic. I love it. I love shards, you know, of, of this glass thing that kind of looks dangerous a little bit on her. And I really, really, really appreciate this. I think it's a little bit of a departure for Lady Camden because I don't really see her as being a very experimental, like, you know, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think that she's really taken it there and I really appreciate what she's done. She looks yeah, fantastic. I agree. I think like the neckline's cool. I love mm -hmm. the asymmetry. I love how the, like everything's kind of going one way. It's mm -hmm. cool. It's like, it literally does look like an icy like wind mm -hmm. vibe. It's giving motion, which I live. The coat's giving her a little shape without having to pat or cinch that hard. I'm obsessed. I think the proportions look great. She looks amazing. She's giving me Comet. <gasps> oh, mm. I love. And I toot it. Toot. Next we bring to the stage. Bosco. Bosco. I love this costume. I think it looks beautiful on her. The only misstep I think that I don't really, really love about it is the fact that you could see her nude panties underneath the silver panties that she's got on. It's a nitpicky attention to detail thing that I just think like, wow, that could have been really um, avoided and forgiven. 100%. Yeah, I mean, but we're at that point in the competition where you have to kind of pay attention to those things. Mm -hmm. And I agree a thousand percent. Like even the nude on the side is kind of like, I just feel like it should have been just so robotic, Mugler down. I'm actually mm -hmm. doing kind of a Mugler inspired thing right now. And it is kind of, I was talking to you earlier, it's kind of hard to like make it insanely unique because a lot of people have ventured into this robotic Mugler vibe. Right. And we actually did read Bosco last week for doing the exact same little <laughs> panty since waist angel situation. Mm -hmm. Trend alert, everything's missing. <laughs> 
Good lord. You gave Bosco a, a boot last week for the same silhouette and the same idea, but I think what we're really looking for here is how does it fit within the theme?、Mm -hmm. And this does. This、yeah. really does. It says, you know what? I'm a robot. I'm showing off body, and it's appropriate for that moment. And she looks fantastic. And that's what the difference is for me. I can see why last week she might have seemed a little bit, you know, kind of、yeah. like, oh, there's that thing again. But you know what? She's got a silhouette. Nobody's mad at Bianca Del Rio for wearing a boat neck all the time. So you know, she likes to be naked. She's young enough to do it. Her body looks terrific. And in this particular moment, I think she looks fantastic. Yeah, I agree. It's、I、just that panty. But this is really. Gorgeous mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I I think she looks amazing. It's just the same. I would expect this. I feel like if I got to guess what she did, I would guess this. Yeah, she's oiled up and glossed. She understood the assignment. The, the, there's, it's mirrored. It's reflective. She looks. She's you know described it as Mugler and Sariyama. I get it. I totally get it. And I think she looks beautiful. The only、uh, the only thing that I would you know probably suggest is probably. You know, maybe not the panty or something. Something that 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 could have definitely been remedied. But otherwise, Bosco looks beautiful, and in my opinion, I give Bosco a two. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot this as well. But I would, I'm just, I would love to see something so crazy different from Bosco because、mm -hmm. I know she's such a sickening artist and clearly like so beyond talented. So I just, I'm fingers crossed, praying to the universe that next week it's something like absolutely insane. Next to the stage, we bring Willow, Willow Pill. I personally love this outfit. I、mm. love the suspenders. I love the Evil Knievel vibe.、Mm -hmm. I love a punk rock diva vibe. Trust、mm -hmm. and believe. That hair is everything. I mean, that is like my dream Ashley Simpson, like early two thousands MySpace haircut that I've always wanted. Um, it, but I probably tried and attempted and never looked that good. But that wig is everything to me. I just want it in every single color. I'm ab、too. absolutely obsessed with it. I love the shaggy bang. I love her makeup. I love the combination of the blue eye shadow and then the, the, the bright lip, and then the the outfit itself. I think this is really cool. I think there's something kind of glam rock about it, and I am into it. It's weird because I feel like we're so th we're very themed angels. And I like love this look so much. I would wear this actually every day. A、uh -huh. little like flat chested bralette, suspenders, high waisted pants. Like see you later.、Mm -hmm. But is it giving mirrors to you? Like I'm not so sure. It's very interesting because I'm obsessed with it and I love the reference and everything she's saying. But I don't really. I would love to know why her brain went to Joan Jet, Evil Can Evil, when she heard mirrors. <laughs> I mean, but I can't see myself booting it because it's just too—it's too me. It's too good. Like it's too—it's too good. It's too me. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. That's who we are now. That's who we are. I didn't、That's、mean to say that. I meant <laughs> that I like it a lot. <laughs> I think it literally fits her. I think the pants are hitting the right places, which can be a doozy for me with a hemline. I think her makeup, hair, everything's dope. She's selling it. I just cannot boot it, but I also don't really understand the mirrors thing. What are you feeling with it? I'm fine with it. I'm <laughs> totally okay with this. I love that that she has really,、uh, you know, put a reference behind this whole thing, and it's reflective. It's silvery, so you know, not not everything has to be. Literal.、It's、Sometimes、fine. when bitches go too literal, I'm like eye rolling. You know, I'm like,、True. oh wow, too literal. You know, but this was just this kind of just gave the nuance of it, and it just makes it makes me happy. She looks like she's happy in it, and that's what makes me.、I'm、I think、happy. when any bitch like looks great because they feel great, too. I mean, she's yeah, she's selling it to me too. I. Yeah, I could never boot this because I want to wear it right now. I know those pants and the suspenders. Yes,、yeah, it might wear, be like, like a... and like the face glam hair situation. Yeah, like it might be my favorite Willow glam moment、yeah. I've ever seen. So I'm gonna toot it. I、mm. live. I think it's reflective enough. Mm-hmm. Sue me. Next, we bring to the stage Angeria Paris Van Meegels. It feels a little bit like like a backsplash in a kitchen. You、oh. know, like tiling. It's a beautiful outfit. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. This is definitely like more icy, and、mm -hmm. um, Lady Camden did an icy vibe, and it was like more mirrors. So、mm -hmm. it's kind of like both icy, but I really do like how the movement of it. I like、mm -hmm. the mesh coming up like the same side as her face. I、mm -hmm. think it's giving really cool, like、mm -hmm. like all the tiles is going like it's 
it's really gorgeously done. I think mm -hmm. it's beautiful. I do like the garment. I think she I, looks that's amazing. That's what I'm saying. And I mean, imagine I'm like in Narnia and I'm like the ice queen and I looked into like an ice moment. I'd be like, this is such a mirror. Like I would mm -hmm. <laughs> So I'm like, maybe it is a mirror. I think it's giving ice mirror. I'm just pretending I'm an ice queen. This is a mirror to me, so. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with my emotional response to this. And my emotional response is I love it. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? I was like, it may not be it may not be the literal. It is reflective. It's beautiful, but you know, we're kind of expecting to see a certain thing, and I like it when a bitch throws it off a little bit. Yeah. Toots. <laughs> Toots. Toots. <laughs> Toots. Next to the stage, we bring Daya Betty. She's giving you kiss. She's giving you... The one day I don't paint my face white. <laughs> she does. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Oh my that, God, that is literally what I'm like, yeah, I'm looking it's in a mirror. Kiss, yeah, it's kiss, <laughs> it's monster, it's uh, spikes, it's mirrored, it's reflective, it's rock and roll, it's sexy, it's wild, and I love this look. Diabetti really, really nailed it and killed it. Oh, 100%, and literally obsessed. I, I mean, if I ever even attempted to discuss how it could even slightly be a boo, people would be like, look in a mirror, bitch. Like, I literally <laughs> am the exact same vibe every day. White face, mullet, totally. spikes, give it to me every day. So I'm obsessed. It could possibly be one of my favorite, favorite outfits that Diabetti actually wore this entire season. I'm saying. It's really so powerful. I like the I like the spikes on the knees. I like, I, I love just the love shape, it. Mm -hmm. how the shoulders come into her little waist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really great. I'm obsessed. I could see myself wearing that like top part, just you know, getting quinoa at Trader Joe's. Oh, I love when you get quinoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun. I haven't, I haven't had quinoa in a while, so. <laughs> and I love it, and it's just like hits home for me. So. Mm -hmm. I love it. I think this is a fantastic look. I give Diabetti a two. Two. I would love to give Diabetti a hug right now. Yeah. And just get stabbed to death in her spikes. Death by Diabetti. <laughs> death by Diabetti. <laughs> death by Diabetti. <laughs> Betty. Mm -hmm. Into it. Next, we bring to the stage Deja Sky. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. So it's very similar to the fabric that like Angeria was wearing, mm -hmm. but I think the way Angeria cut it up and made it very intricate and I was sensing movement, it like brought me to that ice queen place. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, that is very near for an ice queen. Like it brought me somewhere. You can always tell what fabrics are popular at a certain time in Drag Race, <laughs> yeah. you know? It's a cool reflective fabric, but it's just the construction for me. like. Uh, this like this this show, this construction paper yeah cut out like it was a it was a last minute afterthought to like you know uh, it, it was a it was a it was a a missed opportunity for me yeah no I think like so the way that the material is draping is actually one of my favorite things to do and when I get a left alone with a bolt of fabric I 90% mm -hmm. of the time end up doing something like similar to that draping mm -hmm. situation. But it's the really about this like, way, right? yeah, and mm -hmm. like having it kind of like accentuate your hips with the draping, but you need to accentuate your body with what that's doing. And it really should have hit like right where you would have cinched, right where you want your hips to be out. Like it's very that. That's like literally like two party hats on the, on her shoulders, you know? And I, it just and feels it's very- It's giving Burger King. <laughs> it's giving Burger King. <laughs> Burger Queen. I think Angeria, when she used it, she understood that and made it a thousand million intricate little pieces and gave us movement and gave us more of a couture vibe mm -hmm. for the runway as opposed to this. I do think that Deja Sky is a fun and wonderful queen and she definitely uh, serves her own aesthetic. But this, this, is, this is a missed opportunity and it's not entirely the, the mirror effect that I, I want mean, to see. I mean, I think she did probably see that there was some spiky element because the bag, the bottom, the shoulders, and the hats all kind of giving that. It's just, I think there should be some more proportionizing mm -hmm. and some more, a little more detailing. Like you said, stones would be cool. Like just something to really just bring it over the top. I give Deja Sky a boot. Me too, boot. Next we bring to the stage, Georgia. 
I don't like how the outfit just hits the boot. And I, I think it's kind of the same with the Deja moment. I think they're, cause it's just these lines. I think we could have really created a body shape with this look, like if we really were going for it. I love it. <laughs> I'm so opposite. I actually love this. I love the little, the little cut, the cutlets of mirror on the butt. It's highly, highly reflective, which was the assignment. And I love that cool hair on her. Like, I, I think hair. I had that haircut like 10 years ago and I just want it back. And the I'm black like, lip. Oh, uh, yeah. She looks stunning. She looks f sick. This actually is one of my favorite Georgia's outfits. Like in comparison to some of the things that she's actually worn, I'm like, okay, she looks like a cool bitch. I she like does. this. It, I think this is one of my favorite Georgia's looks too. It's very punk. The mirror vibe, it's giving me like a disco ball vibe, mm -hmm. which I think is cool. It I looks think like it, broken it's glass. Yeah. It yeah. looks like she's just got shards all over her and I love that. Yeah, I do like how the boobs match the butt. Yeah. It's my fave. I would have bloodied up a little bit, like make it feel like more shards, you know? Ooh. Like, oh, I've got actual glass all over my body. Oh my God, see you later with Looked that like little number. Little, yeah, which is like little streaks and scratches of mm -hmm. glass. I think it's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. I think she's like, I love this almost wet hair. I mm -hmm. think it's my favorite. It's not normal Georgia. She's like mm -hmm. stepping out of her comfort zone. She gave us this like punk rock disco mm -hmm. diva, mm -hmm. which I think mm -hmm. is cool. I'm not a huge fan of the dress right there hitting the boot, especially on someone shorter. I learned that the hard way as someone not the most Glamazonian mm -hmm. angel of life. Um, but it still works for me. I give Georgia's a two. I give Georgia's a two as well. Trend alert! That fabric. That one. That's that. Very, that very fabric. Yeah. That one right there. Our, Our top, top two, two of the, the week, week is... Daya Betty! Yeah. Yes. Sea urchin, punk spike. Oh, Ooh, spiky, cape. shiny, tinfoil, yeah. Ooh, punk, oh, got ow. me kiss. Rock and roll, rock and roll, da, da, da. rock and roll. What that rollin. tongue do, baby? Oh, rock and roll. rollin'. <laughs> daya Bada, daya, 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 daya. Death by Daya. <laughs> Death by Daya. <laughs> by the way, Daya Betty, merch. Death by Daya. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Only a few episodes left. Tune in every Friday on VH1 to watch RuPaul's Drag Race season 14. And if you are outside of the US, Canada, or Australia, catch it on WOW Presents Plus. Boop, boop. Even if you're in the United States, catch it on WOW Presents Plus. For sure. No matter where you are, just go to WOW Presents Plus. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who has got the biggest balls? You were gonna say that, I don't know why. <laughs> like I had something in my brain was like, you're gonna give me that right now. <laughs> I love balls. I love, I love balls. I love balls. Big I'm gonna go balls. to the ball, I'm a ballroom. Balls.